I'll show you how to install an operating system, a control panel, and WordPress into a cheap $5 unmanaged VPS. By the end, you'll have a great looking website that loads in less than a second and has better configuration than like 90% of $30 a month shared web hosting plans. For this tutorial, I'll be using A2 Hosting Unmanaged VPS for like $4.99 a month because from my testing, they're one of the fastest and least overloaded options on the market right now but you can follow along pretty much with any provider. And if you like A2 Hosting, buy their VPS with a discount from the link in the description. Once inside your panel, this is what a typical unmanaged VPS panel looks like. It only gives you the option to restart or shut everything down completely. However, your virtual machine should be already created automatically. However, we still need to install an operating system so navigate to server information and click on install. Choose Ubuntu 20.04 because it works great with open light speed and cyber panel. And that's exactly what we're gonna use to manage our server and choose a strong password. Then just click install and everything else will be done automatically. While that's installing, let's get some software that will allow us to communicate with our virtual machine. Go to putty.org to download and open it up once installed. At this point, our virtual machine should be ready. So let's go back to the A2 hosting control panel and copy our server IP address, then paste it into putty and change the port to 7822. Then just click on open. Your login name should be root, and the password is the one you've set up while installing Ubuntu. First, let's double check to make sure everything is up to date. And don't worry, I'll leave all of the commands I'm using in the pinned comment down below. Now type in sudo su dash and paste in the command to download and install CyberPanel. Once asked, type in 1 to install CyberPanel, then type in 1 again to choose Open Lightspeed. Then type in Yes to get all of the additional software. For MySQL, type in No to install it locally and press Enter to install the latest version. Now type in S to set your control panel password, type it in and then confirm it. Type in yes to install Memcached and yes again to install Redis. Then go with no for Watchdog app and the installation will take some time to finish. So let's use that time to point our domain name to the newly created server. I've actually created a free subdomain called a2vps.emitreviews.com on my domain provider, Hostinger. You don't have to use the subdomain, but I like it because it's free. For it to point to Hostinger, I'll navigate to domains, then DNS, and look it up in the search bar. I'll delete the quad A record and change the A record IP address to use the IP address of my A2 hosting server. So now this subdomain will actually point to my A2 hosting server. Keep in mind, it can take anywhere from 10 minutes to several hours for this domain name to start working. But for now, our cyber panel installation should at least be finishing up. You'll actually see this screen once it's done and you can type in yes to restart your server and we're pretty much good to go with cyber panel. To test it all out, we can just copy this IP address. Uh, for you, it's gonna be different. It's gonna be the IP address of your server. So let's just copy that and paste it in, followed by colon 8090. That's the port connection to a cyber panel. If it doesn't work, that means your VPS provider doesn't have the required ports open. Let's open them up manually. Close out of PuTTY and connect to your server again. Remember, we need port 8090 to be opened for cyber panel to work. So let's type in sudo iptables-l to check which ports are currently open. Uh, yep, just as suspected, port 8090 is nowhere to be found here, so we'll need to open it up manually. Paste in this command and press enter. Now, if we would restart this page, it works because the port is now open. 
click on Advanced and Proceed. Your Cyber Panel username should be admin and the password is what you've set up during our installation previously. Once we're inside Cyber Panel, we can easily create websites, issue SSL certificates, create email accounts, access our file manager and much more. Let's start by simply creating a website. So go into Packages, then List Packages and edit the default value. We want for this to be zeros because we don't want to put any limits on our account. Now click on Websites and Create Website. Select the default package, leave the owner as is, and for the domain name I'll use a2vps.emitreviews.com. It's the domain I've pointed to this server earlier in the video. Of course, you can use any domain you want, just make sure it's pointed to the server. Obviously, the email can be whatever you want. It can even be a fake email. I recommend using the latest PHP version and selecting SSL, DKIM, as well as mail domains. Then click on Create Website. Now, the installation is quite quick. Once installed, you'll see your website by clicking on Websites and List Websites. Click on Manage next to it, we'll now install WordPress onto our newly created site. Fill out this information as you like and leave the path empty. If I would visit a2vps.emitreviews.com right now, it seems the DNS propagation is still ongoing. That means I'll need to wait a little bit more before my domain starts pointing from Hostinger to A2 Hosting. I can actually use a site called dnschecker.org to see which IP address my domain is currently pointing to. As you can see, some of the servers are still using the old IP, starting with 185, not 190. So I'll need to wait until all of these IP addresses update. I'll cut back after like 20 minutes have passed. Okay, it has been 20 minutes, let's check again. And yep, all of the addresses have updated, it should be working now, let's check. Awesome, looks like it's working, so click on Advanced and Proceed to reach your site. Since the domain wasn't pointed during installation, an SSL certificate didn't get installed. Let's do it manually so we don't get this warning in the future. Navigate to your website on Cyber Panel and click on Issue SSL. After some time, you'll get a free SSL certificate and the warning when connecting to your website actually just disappears. To reach your WordPress control panel, you can type in slash wp-admin after your domain name and connect using the credentials you created during the WordPress installation on CyberPanel. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You can create any website you want using WordPress. I've actually skipped ahead here a little bit. I've imported a website I've created earlier just to test the performance. And here's how the website I've imported looks. It's full of pictures, animation, maps, and it's actually quite heavy in plugins. Definitely not just like a default installation. The GT metric scores are actually incredible for this 499 VPS. Time to first byte is just 38 milliseconds. That's pretty much instant and my website fully loads in 0.77 seconds. These are one of the fastest results you can get with a website like this and that's the power of a virtual private server with good hardware. Google Page Insights also scores amazingly, well 92 on mobile and 100 on desktop. This is why I highly recommend unmanaged VPS specifically from A2 Hosting because for the price you won't get better performance anywhere else. And if you don't want to go through all of the setup hassle that we did in this video, I highly recommend their managed WordPress plans that work just as well, they're just a little bit more expensive. Anyways, as always, good luck working with your websites and I'll see you in the next video.